So, you want to develop games on Roblox, but you're not sure where to start? Here are 5 tips for new devs starting in 2020. So you've made your New Year's resolution to either start learning to make games, or you want to improve existing skills. Maybe you'd like to learn the script Lua, or maybe it's building and modeling that has intrigued you. Whatever the case, you're going to need a frame of reference for where to go from here. So let's start with tip number one. Start here. Start where? Right where you are at. What do I mean by that? It doesn't matter if you're talented, or if you made an account in 2006. Too many of us get caught up in other people's achievements and think that it's the mark for our success. That can sometimes cause us to hold ourselves to an impossible standard or want something that's different than what's actually right for us just because it seems stylish. You might see those devs with a lot of Twitter followers, a million visits on their game, and be like, I could never do that, or I wish I had that. This mentality causes constant dissatisfaction when we envy others or expect ourselves to be at the same level all at once. Something to realize is that anyone who is good at something worked for it and had to start at the bottom just like you. The difference between them and everyone else is that they didn't let the fact that they were absolutely nowhere to begin with discourage them from starting. Wherever you are, it is okay. Believe that. You're great the way you are. Now don't stay where you are, get moving! Tip number two. Be Resourceful. You may feel alone in this big world, but you're not. There are so many people who want to help you, and you just need to know where to find them. There are a ton of resources out there to provide guidance and direction. You have things like the dev forums, which absolutely anyone can read. You have wikis for Roblox Studio and Lua. There are more tutorials on YouTube than ever and more coming out as we speak. Then you have communities centered around helping young developers progress. I am actually starting one of those communities. I'll link it in the description for you. Another resource many let go by the wayside is inspiration and reference. When learning something new, it's okay to directly copy or mimic what others are doing so that you can learn it. Just make sure you don't claim the credit for someone else's work. And you should definitely be spending some time looking at work that inspires you. Train your brain to feel encouraged when you see impressive games and works of art, rather than feeling bad and like you may never get there. If you truly want to, you will get there. Let the achievements of others inspire you, not make you jealous. And that's a perfect segue into tip number three. Respect others. The Roblox community is filled with all kinds of people. Some are kind, some are rude. Some will be honest and come through with their promises, and others will lie and try to scam you. I've worked with both and learned some hard lessons. But here's one of the lessons that stands out. When you treat others with respect, and that means everyone, no exceptions, everything is going to be a lot better for you. You get what you put out. There are no secrets, and things get around, so be on your best behavior. I'll be coming out with a podcast episode about maintaining emotional intelligence when dealing with less pleasant people. But for now, just know this, you affect the community. As you enter it, take into consideration what you're bringing in and ask yourself if that's the mark you want to make on the world. Never underestimate your individual impact. Moving on to tip number four, make habits. I can't remember how many times I started to learn a new thing or start a new project only to lose interest a little while later. The number of partially completed projects on my old hard drives is stunning. But around the time I posted my first video on this channel back in February, I started to make the habit of finishing what I begin. Since then, I've made so much more progress as a 3D builder. Think of habits like automatic behaviors. It's your tendencies and the way you react to situations. We all operate on habits whether we try to or not. It's just a matter of whether those habits are helping us or not. If you always work on removing one bad habit and installing one new good habit at a time, you will be exponentially changing your results in your life and as a new dev. The reason is that once you go through the grueling work to set up that habit, there's little you need to do to maintain it. 
It has the same powerful effect as if you were exerting a massive amount of willpower, but you're barely doing anything. So habits are your friend. And finally, tip number five, build momentum. Do you know what the number one reason why most New Year's resolutions don't last more than a couple weeks? It's two reasons. Number one, when you set a massive goal and expect yourself to jump into it all at once, it's like trying to go from zero to 100 in six seconds in a 97 sedan without upgrades. It's simply too much. It's better to set that big goal, but write out baby steps to build up to it. For instance, if I want to learn to build big cities in Roblox Studio, first I should learn to make city layouts, and then work on learning each different style of architecture I want to include. Then I combine all the small pieces together, and eventually, I have that massive city I wanted. You can climb a mountain, but do it one step at a time. <laughs> and if you find a ski lift or an all-terrain vehicle on the way, good for you, use it. But not to be philosophical. Create little goals that lead you to your New Year's resolution. And the second reason most New Year's resolutions fail is that when we fall short of our goal, we naturally want to give up. But understand that it's not the person who can't be knocked down who's the strong one, but the person who can't be kept down. Just because you didn't do as well as you wanted to, doesn't mean you failed. You got farther than you would have if you hadn't set out on that goal. That's what goals are for. So be the person who gets up over and over, no matter how many times you have to get up. Keep getting up. When you walk, your feet have to stay still on the ground for a second after each step, and your progression might look similar. How you approach the goals you set might even be more important than the specific goals that you set. So go, pursue your New Year's resolutions proudly. All right, that's it for this video, guys. I sincerely hope you got value from this. Check the description for a copy-paste cheat sheet on what we discussed, and make sure you review it every day for a week after watching this video so it sticks. If you're down for mastering Roblox Studio, subscribe to the channel. And let each other know in the comments what your game dev related New Year's resolutions are. Alright, let's build a better world. Mr. Kamsaki out.